This case illustrates the importance of cone beam in endodontics as much as any other case we could show you. Hi, my name is Dr. Scott Resnick. I'm a practicing endodontist in Manhattan, New York. This is a root canal done by a general dentist who subsequently placed a post and a long span bridge. Six months later, there is now radiographic evidence of pathology, the patient is uncomfortable, and the dentist sent him to our associate, Dr. Courtney Lindenberg, for an apicoectomy. As part of her exam, she took a cone beam. What she found was that there was actually a second root that had never been treated, and you can see it here. You can also see the radiolucency at the apex. So rather than remove this tooth or perform an apicoectomy, she elected to make a small access through the porcelain bridge and treat just the missed canal. Her patient saw immediate results, and as this six-month radiograph shows, there is evidence that the lesion is shrinking. I hope that illustrates the importance of cone beam computing tomography. Now, not everyone is going to go out and buy one of these machines, but it is likely that your local endodontist either has one or knows where to send their patients. In our time, it is hard to fathom a discussion on endodontics without magnification on the order of a microscope. No study illustrated this more to me than the Burley Barrow study of 2002. It showed how difficult it was to find the mesiobuccal number two canal of the maxillary first or second molar without magnification. The canal, which we all know is found somewhere around, let's say, 85% of the time, depending on the literature, well, without magnification, they found it 17.2% of the time. If you added magnification, you were up at 62.5% of the time. An incredible jump. If you then look at how often you would find that fourth canal if you were using a microscope, you would be around 71% of the time. One more illustration, this is the back of a $5 bill showing the Lincoln Memorial, and that is at 2.5 times magnification, which is pretty typical for loops. This is at approximately 15 times magnification using my microscope. I would say that this is a pretty significant difference in magnification and something we should all consider when delving into endodontics. Thank you.